Hey there, LJ back. And today I want to talk about a principle that really crosses many traditions, philosophies, and even religions, including yoga, which is not really any of those, <laughs> right? Its own set of practices, perspectives, and psychology. But it's this idea that our word is so powerful, right? Our word is our wand. We could even see that it's part of our magic in creating part of how we as humans manifest right and so as people interested in being more conscious maybe more connected it can become important to be super aware of how we're using our words meaning our words with ourselves right how we're thinking how we're talking to ourselves and then definitely how we're speaking and using our words with others realizing that it is like we're casting a spell with our words and like some teachers would point out, we can realize that we're doing magic with those words. And it can either be something that feels more like white magic, right? That's going to be helpful and beneficial and growth producing in a, in a way that we want, right? Or it could be more like dark magic, right? That we're using our words in ways that might be more like a curse sometimes. And even planting something in someone's thoughts that isn't helpful, right? So it becomes important and I'm always working on this too, that we become more and more conscious with our words as so powerful, one of our biggest powers as humans, and how we use them really matters, both with ourselves and others. And then we can also use our words as a way to be creating and to be creating more what we love, meaning like speaking that, thinking that, writing about it, right, is a way to take our word to next level. <laughs> so yeah, let's remember that our word is our wand, it's part of our power and we want to be careful and even more kind and loving with how we're using it, with ourselves, with others, and that it's a big part of our power. So let's enjoy that. All right. All right. Thanks for listening. Namaste.